Now let's come towards the question number 4 with a neat labeled diagram. Describe the parts of typical angiosperm ovule. So in this question we have to draw a neat labeled diagram of an ovule and also we have to describe all the parts in detail of it. So first of all what is ovule? Ovule is actually an integumented megasporangium. Ovule is actually an integumented megasporangium and in case of angiospermic plants the ovule is enclosed within an ovary. The ovule is present inside the ovarian cavity in case of angiospermic plants. Whereas the ovule is not enclosed by an ovary in case of gymnospermic plants. That is why the seeds are called as naked seeds or the plants is termed as naked seeded plants because the ovule is not enclosed within any ovary in case of gymnospermic plants. But in angiosperms it is enclosed within an ovary. An ovule is actually an female, a female gamete, a female megasporangium. If we talk about the ovule, inside the ovule, ovule we have a special kind of tissue known as nucellus which is have food reserve material, abundant food reserve material. So inside an ovule we have a special kind of tissue known as nucellus which is a abundant food reserve material which has abundant food reserve material. Also ovule have some coverings which are known as integuments which protect the developing embryo and also a special kind of cell that is known as megaspore mother cell which is diploid and going to give rise to megaspore. Now if we draw a diagram of ovule it will be like this. Now, if we label, first of all the diagram is of ovule and if we label then this is the point known as helum, this is the point known as helum, this is the point known as funicle, this is the point which is known as funicle, this is outer integument, outer integument. The inner one is inner integument. These are the coverings of an ovule. This region where the integuments are actually not covering the ovule is actually a region known as a micropyle region. This is micropyle. Now inside which after you can see inside the integuments this is the tissue this is the nucellus tissue nucellus tissue which has abundant food reserve material for the developing embryo and this one the innermost structure inside the ovule you can see is embryo sac this is embryo sac and opposite to the micropyle region the region here is known as chalazal and or chalazal region chalazal and or chalazal region so this is the complete labeled diagram of an ovule which is female negasporangium now we have to describe all these parts in detail we know what are the parts of ovule helum is one part then we have next part as funicle micropyle region in outer and inner integuments the nucellus tissue and embryo sac which is a female gametophyte female gametophyte which is going to give rise to female gamete inside it all right now we will be going to discuss each and every part in detail so first first if we talk about the very first part that is helum what is helum Helum is actually an attachment point, it is an attachment point where 
द फ्यूनिकल अटैचेस टू द बॉडी ऑफ एन ओव्यूल टू द बॉडी ऑफ एन ओव्यूल ऑफ एन ओव्यूल नाउ द सेकेंड स्ट्रक्चर इज फ्यूनिकल वॉट इज फ्यूनिकल फ्यूनिकल इज द अटैचमेंट स्ट्रक्चर विच अटैचेस द ओव्यूल विद प्लेसेंटा विद इन द ओवरी सो वॉट इज फ्यूनिकल इट इज द अटैचमेंट स्ट्रक्चर अटैचमेंट स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एक्चुअली स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर which joins which joins the ovule which joins the ovule with placenta with placenta inside the ovarian cavity or locule then the third part we have is integuments integuments what are the integuments these are the covers these are the coverings these are the coverings which protect the un, uh, developing embryo so integuments are the coverings which protects which protects the developing embryo the next part in ovule structure we have is nucellus tissue nucellus tissue so what is nucellus tissue nucellus tissue is a special kind of tissue it is a special kind of tissue present inside inside the ovule present inside the ovule which has abundant reserve food reserve material food reserve material so what is nucellus tissue nucellus tissue is a special kind of tissue which is present inside the ovule and it has abundant food reserve material for the nourishment and development of developing embryo inside the ovule last but not least the fifth one is embryo sac embryo sac which is also known as female gametophyte female gametophyte this is also known as female gametophyte this female gametophyte is going to give rise is going to give rise to female gamete female gamete inside it so now with this we have completed the solution of question number 4 over here with all with the neat and labeled diagram of an ovule and also we have described the parts of an ovule here